Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this very simple underwater scene in GIMP. And yes, I know that it has been a very long time since I've last uploaded a tutorial. Hopefully you guys are still watching these. Um, and I'll try to put tutorials up a little more frequently. Um, so to start, go ahead and open up a new image. Um, you can make it whatever size you want just depends on what you like. And to start I'm going to go to my gradient tool or blend tool. I'm going to change my foreground color to a light blue. Um, and the HTML notation is 33D4EC as seen here. And then I'm going to change my background color to a darker blue. Uh, the HTML notation is 205779. And then I'm going to simply click and drag, and the gradient is just on foreground to background, the default one. Um, and if you want to drag straight down, you can just press Control or Command. And there you go, you have your simple background now. Uh, go ahead and create a new layer and go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Solid Noise. Um, and you can kind of adjust this to, this kind of depends on how big your image is, but I'm just going to go with um, Detail on 1, X size 9.5, uh, y size 7 um, and everything else I just haven't touched and then just click OK and then go ahead and grab your perspective tool and, and I'm just going to click and drag these two bottom points up to the top like so so drag them like this so it forms like a trapezoid. So go ahead and make it so that your solid noise looks like that. And then over my layers window, I'm going to set the layer mode to overlay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab my eraser tool and just go ahead and choose a soft, uh, a soft brush. Um, and I'm just going to slightly erase the edges here just to make it blend a little more. So make sure using your, you are using a fuzzy brush to do this. So go ahead and just kind of on the edges to make it blend more. And then once you've done that, go ahead and make another new layer. And I'm just going to put that in between my uh, solid noise layer and my background layer. And then go ahead and grab your brush tool, your paintbrush tool, and I'm just going to set my foreground color to black. Um, and just I would just use a soft brush, a fuzzy brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint in an ocean floor kind of shape. So roughly another trapezoid at the bottom. And then go ahead back into your layers window and click the drop down menu for layer mode again and click overlay again. Um, and you can also go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Um, and I'm just going to, this also depends on personal preference, but I'm going to uh, go with a blur radius of 60 just to soften out the edges a little more. And then what you want to do is make another new layer. And then again, go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Solid Noise. Um, this time, I'm going to just drag the Y size down to um, about 1-ish. Um, again, this is kind of personal preference, and you can kind of mess around with these settings. Nothing's exact. Um, it kind of depends on your image size. Um, but for me, I have an X size of 9.5 and a Y size of 1.1. And then what you're going to want to do is grab your perspective tool again. 
and this time I'm going to click and drag the two upper squares over here and I'm just going to drag them in to make a trapezoid shape like this and click transform and then set this layer mode to overlay as well and what I'm going to do again is just grab the eraser tool and erase the edges just to make it blend more and uh, you can also go in and just kind of erase around at the top and the bottom if you like just to kind of make the light rays blend a little more seamlessly and there you go you have your very simple uh, underwater scene. There you go.